Bam. It's your boy John K and uh, I'm here representing again in my rescue church shirt. You know what I'm saying? My brand new rescue church shirt. Peace out to my boy Chris Hassel. You know how we do it. Um, you know, uh, I wanted to hit y'all with something, man. I uh, had a great time this weekend uh, ministering to some young guys, man. Got to talk to them. And, um, you know, they was explaining to me how they felt like, you know, God was still blessing them because in their eyes, and they used the exact phrase, they said, in their eyes, we winning. You know, uh, if we wasn't doing good, if, if we wasn't, you know, if God wasn't blessing us with the things that we have, then why are we winning, you know? And, uh, you know, just to back up, you know, give you a little background on it, they felt that way because... You know, they were giving to the neighborhood and stuff. They give shoes and clothes and stuff like that, you know, to the neighborhood. You know, even made the uh, even made the, the comment that, you know, well, we do more than most churches do, you know. But the thing about it is, is that, you know, uh, just because, you know, you experience, you, you're experiencing a little success doesn't mean that you're necessarily winning, you know. Uh, you know, you got you to gotta look at that situation and you gotta realize that number one, you know, you're never gonna get an orange from an apple. You know, uh, in other words, what I'm saying is, is you're never gonna get good from evil. You know, uh, if you're making your money a certain way, you can't clean it up just by doing something good with it. You know, that's just like, uh, you know, not too long ago, you know, you had people that they were dope dealers, but they thought if they gave money to the church, that it made their money clean. You know, uh, that don't change the way you got it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, just because, you know, somebody receives it into the church, that make it clean. And uh, to be honest, don't make them right, you know. Uh, the fact is, is that, you know, uh, God gives us blessings and it comes from a good place. The Bible says this, it says that the blessing of the Lord make it rich and it adds no sorrow. So that means that, you know, if you out there and you winning, then you know what? You should be winning all the way around, you know. And uh, I just gave him this example, you know. I told him, I said, you know, it's like if you was in a basketball game and, uh, you know, you was scoring it up, you know, you was stealing the ball, you was dunking the ball, you was doing all these great things. And at the end of the game, you had 42 points, you know, and you was just looking like a superstar. But you looked up at the scoreboard and realized that you scored all them points for the opposite team. You know, that's that's the funny thing about basketball is that you could you can actually score a point for the other team. If you if you tipping the ball in and I don't know how many times we've seen it, you know, somebody go up to tip the ball and they knock it into the goal and hey, them points count for the other team, you know. And long as you scoring for the other team, they not gonna stop you from scoring. So, you know, you might be out there thinking you Michael Jordan, superstar somebody, you know, and here it is, you know, they letting you score because you scoring for them. That's the way it is in, in the world, you know. The world is not going to, you know, go against its own, you know. You out there and you, you selling drugs, you doing things illegal to get your finances. The world is not going to stop you. They're not going to do none of that, you know. They're going to let you make your money. They're going to you let you do your thing, you know. But the, the fact is, is that, you know, in the end, when you get to heaven, you're going to find out that you came up short, you know. Uh... The Bible says this, you know, uh, Jesus said that there'll be many that'll come up and say, Lord, Lord, what, what, look at what we've done in your name. And he was talking about Christians. He was talking about believers, you know, and that God would look at them and say, you workers of iniquity, I know you not. Depart from me, you know. And, uh, you know, just to put that in English terms for some of y'all, you know, I mean, that's like, you know, you're doing all these great things for God and, you know, you walk up to him and he say, you know, I don't know you. You know, you wicked to me. You evil to me. I don't I don't know who you are, you know. And uh, the thing about it is, is that that's, you know, uh, what you're looking at as, even as an unbeliever, you know. You out there and you giving things, you doing things for the neighborhood, you doing stuff that you feel like is right, and, you know, but you hustling. You're getting it the wrong way, you know. And all that stuff you're doing is in vain because that's not going to help you get into heaven. That's not going to make your money right. That ain't going to make what you're doing right. The only thing that's going to make it right is to be right. Amen. You know, I'm going to amen myself on that one. You know, the only thing that's going to make it right is to be right, to do the right things, you know. 
you know, it's like this, you know, uh, there's a lyric that I used one time and it says that I'd rather work a nine to five and they'll come on life or death that I'm still alive, you know, and that's the way I, I, I live my life and that's the way I encourage all of you to do the same, you know. Uh, you know, all that quick money and all that stuff, let me tell you something, uh, that doesn't teach you anything, that doesn't help you grow, number one. Number two, you know, that's not the way God designed it, you know. Uh, as human beings, he designed us to earn certain things because we have respect for them, you know. That brings respect into your life. When you earn money, then you respect money, you know. So therefore, you know, you respect everything else around it that comes with it, you know. And then, uh, you know, definitely last but not least, you know, uh, you can't, you know, uh, say, well, I'm saving this life, but the way you saved it was through death. You know, you're feeding death to your people through selling drugs, you know, uh, you're taking food out of other people's mouths by hustling and selling bootleg things and stuff like that. You know, you can't, you can't make that money clean. You can't say, oh, well, look what I've done for the neighborhood with that money. This ain't Robin Hood. You know, that, that's a great story and all, but you know what? Robin Hood was wrong. You know, uh, there's a better way to do things. There's a right way to do things. And uh, that's the way that we have to work in this world, okay? And uh, if we learn how to do things the right way, God will truly bless us. And he promises that he would give seed to the sower. So, you know, you work your nine to five, you put your little money together, and you still buy those shoes for the neighborhood, you know? And you know what? God will bless you for it. He'll bring it right back around to you, you know? So uh, I just wanted to encourage you out there with that. You know, hopefully that helps somebody because uh, those young men saw things from a different perspective by the time we got to talking. And uh, I believe, God, that they're going to hopefully change some things, you know, uh, or, at least, or at least, you know, uh, that there be a seed planted in them, you know, that they start to think about changing some things. So, uh, but we praise God for that, man. And uh, sorry if this was a little too long for some of you, but hopefully it's helped somebody out there. I love you guys, man. And uh, I'm going to keep hitting you up with some more videos. And like I said, I'm going to give y'all some fun stuff, but I ain't going to waste your time with foolishness. So, but uh, y'all keep doing what you're doing. Keep repping the man 365, and I'm going to keep doing the same. All right.